let's talk base with uh, retired commander pr hari and let's talk about uh, the latest order they've got for hybrid electric ferries hybrid electric ferries i used to only think that there are evs and there are hybrid cars and two wheelers and trucks now ferries are also becoming uh, hybrid what is the engineering technology here what will it be used and what have you exactly backed in terms of an order uh, thank you nikun before i start i'll just take a cue from you you had mentioned uh, the markets are in a position to smile but not laugh i think we are also in the same position but we want to laugh in the coming years now uh, answering your question on uh, hybrid ferries uh, hybrid uh, in the literal sense means hybrid which means the basic propulsion would be a conventional methodology uh, in this case uh, diesel engines then that diesel power gets transmitted through a uh, propulsion and battery management system which drives the shaft so is the similar concept that has been used in uh, electric uh, cars that we already have in the market and this technology has recently come to india and the order that we have got is for 13 hybrid ferries uh, for the government of uh, west bengal and what uh, made us get qualified for this project was our successful completion of a fully electric ferry that we built again for the government of west bengal which uh, uh, just for information that is the largest in terms of passenger capacity in it is 150 passenger capacity vessel so the technology has come to india so are you the only player who has this technology uh, what is your technical uh, you know know how in terms of implementing this yes it has recently come to india but uh, definitely we are not the only player in india uh the other shipyards the kochin shipyard has also got the proven capability in this uh, segment as a major player in shipbuilding definitely both of us are very much uh, into this game and as far as capability is concerned uh, jrc has got a full fledged capability i just mentioned that we have developed a fully electric ferry which is that is perhaps more complex than a hybrid ferry so that proven technology already exists and just for information uh, Uh, many of us do not know that i have a full fledged design uh, house with over 100 qualified uh, designers in uh, the shipyard so core capability exists and again uh, this is an area where huge potential uh, that we see that market potential that we see with the government's uh, focus on green transition uh, both the state government many of the state governments have come forward and ordered directly for uh, Uh, electric and hybrid uh, vessels for inland water transportation and also the government has already moved ahead with the green tug transition program wherein all the tugs which are operated by our various ports will be made either hybrid or fully uh, green that is zero emission so this is an area where we see huge uh, potential in the coming years interesting could you give us any sense considering you said that you already sitting on capacity and have a design for a complete ev uh, ferry as well what kind of demand uh, uh, do you anticipate beyond just state governments which you just highlighted yes the uh, indian government as government of india the ministry of shipping has already initiated a green tech transition program wherein uh, all the ports various ports of india will operate uh, their tax uh, with this uh, kind of uh, propulsion that is a uh, that uh, electric or hybrid uh, uh, propulsion management system in addition to that the inland water Tran- authority of india the iwai has also got requirement of green energy vessels this is just coming to within india even abroad many of the countries especially the scandinavian country, countries are moving fully green and some of them have kept a very stiff target of uh, 2030 to for a full green conversion so the opportunity not only in india but also abroad exists uh, on the green energy segment right interesting so um help us understand what kind of orders have you already bagged for this particular project and uh, you know what's the pipeline looking like if you could just you know uh, appreciate our curiosity here and give us some numbers too okay our total order book as of now uh, stands as, as actually as of 30th of september stands at uh, 24221 crores and this comprises of uh, 42 platforms Uh, which include of course the uh, 17 warships for the indian navy two specialized research vessels for government research organizations uh, 
10 uh, export platforms which include uh, five multipurpose vessels for a European client and 14 uh, electric uh, and hybrid ferries. Now this hybrid ferry and the uh, electric ferry, the total order value is just about 250 crores but there is only a beginning and that is what I want to convey that this is the beginning considering the opportunities available. Most of our uh, order book uh, comprises of uh, domestic warship building orders, actually almost 90% of our order book comprises of uh, domestic warship building orders that we get from both the Navy and the Coast Guard. We also venture into the commercial shipbuilding segment and I have mentioned that uh, we are currently executing order for uh, five multi-purpose vessels for a European client. We expect to conclude a contract for three more vessels uh, uh, by this financial year end. And just a quick word in terms of, uh, you know, the order inflow and the execution, has that slowed a bit? Because there are a few concerns regarding that, um, you know, do you, do you have enough capacity right now to execute and would you like to address some of those concerns? Yes, uh, as well as we are concerned, uh, we do not have any concerns uh, because uh, our projects, the naval projects are fully going on track and we expect to complete the major project that we are executing, that is a P-17 Alpha project by mid-2026, which is as per the contractual delivery timelines. And the other two projects, well, the other three projects we intend completing by FI-28. Two of which will complete get completed by FY27, and the last project will get completed by FY28. The balance of the projects that we have, there is a non-defense project and the export project by FY29 will complete. So we do not have any concerns with respect to the project execution that we are currently doing. As far as the capacity is concerned, yes, we had a requirement to increase or enhance our capacity. Our shipbuilding capacity, captive capacity that is within our physical boundaries was for concurrent construction of 20 platforms and uh, during FI, I mean the current financial year, we have already increased this capacity to 24 ships within our premises. In addition, we have collaboration with uh, our partner shipyards, both public and private, that in case a further order influx inflow comes, we will be able to do concurrent construction in these uh, partner yards also. In addition, we have also taken over few idle uh, dry docks which was with the uh, Kolkata Port Trust and we have revitalized them. So as far as capacity is concerned in terms of the core shipbuilding assets, there is a dry docks, building berths and jetties, we do not have any uh, capacity limitation. That's what I would like to state. Right, interesting. Uh, great to have you on the show, sir. Thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure. Okay, that's uh, the word coming in for the management of Garden Reach. So we're going to take a very quick break then. I'm back.